Alright, hello ladies and gentlemen, Heaven Clone here and how y'all doing bringing you guys another Fortnite video. So along with their dysfunctional playground LTM, Epic just released the dual pistols as a new epic or legendary rarity weapon in Fortnite. I've been testing it out for the last couple of days and it's quite an interesting weapon and it, and it is actually viable. So in this video I'm going to go over its pros and cons and give you guys my thoughts and opinions on it. But before that, please smash that like button if you're enjoying the video and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel for more Fortnite tutorials. Anyways, let's begin. So if you haven't had the chance to use the dual pistols yet, they are two pistols of epic or legendary rarity that fire in two round bursts. It has a decent sized magazine of 18 rounds per pistol that deal 41 to 43 damage per round. Now these things can be absolute monsters in the right hands. If you have great aim and can consistently track moving targets, then chances are you'll succeed with them. So for the positives of the dual pistols, these things have insane damage at 41 to 43 damage per shot or 82 to 86 damage per headshot with the 2 times headshot multiplier. Couple that with the insane fire rate it has and the small spread and the dual pistols can easily fight head to head with shotguns in close quarters. They can also compete with ARs at long range if you're lucky with the RNG. Also, with this patch, shotgun damage to structures has been seriously nerfed, so shooting through cover with a shoddy is not really viable now, but these pistols can easily tear through it giving them an advantage. For the negatives, the dual pistols have a pretty significant reload time, so if you end up running out of ammo in a gunfight, reloading could prove to be quite difficult. Also, while this weapon does have a much higher DPS potential than the shotguns, its major downfall is inconsistency. Because it uses bloom when firing, there are times where you'll be right next to someone and all your shots will miss. Other times you'll be able to snipe someone across the map. No problem, right? This makes it very unreliable as a weapon, which makes it probably... Um, I. Personally, I wouldn't use it over shotguns. Now, for my opinions on the weapon, I think it's not that bad, it's definitely viable, but because of its inconsistency, people will probably end up sticking with the shoddy as their weapon of choice. Also, because the weapon has small spread, tracking opponents and landing your shots is more difficult than with shotguns, making it pretty high skill to use effectively. As such, a lot of people won't be able to really succeed with it, so they'll stick to shotguns. The way you want to use this weapon is the same as a shotgun. In close quarters, you can jump around and shoot and the weapon spread won't really increase. They clearly engineered the weapon for close range gunfights with a lot of movement. However, there are also times in close range where you'd switch to an AR and shoot at your opponents because they're out of shotgun range. I found that you can melt opponents if you actually just shoot them at them with your dualies instead. Also, you can even go as far as to replace your AR with dual pistols and you'll still be pretty effective at range. So to summarize my thoughts on the dual pistols, they are a higher skill viable alternative to shotguns, however I would recommend sticking to the shotguns because the dual pistols are inconsistent at all ranges. However, it does reward accuracy and has a longer effective range than shotguns, so if you want to switch it up every now and again and still be able to win gunfights in close quarters and even sometimes long range, then the dual pistols might be for you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you haven't already, hit that like button. Also, I make tons of high quality Fortnite tutorials ranging from basic to intermediate to advanced, so if you're interested, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one.